Rahid Bashir, welcome to this series of video regarding how to conduct a good quantitative research. So in the last three videos, what I was discussing about how to write a good research background, a good problem statement, and a good research purpose. So when I was conducting a video session so few of the audience that raise some of the concerns regarding what I have said in the previous videos so this report is to justify few of the points that I have already discussed in my previous videos so number one I have discussed that the ending statement of research background can usually be the starting statement of problem statement so the question is how so to justify my point I am using some information as an example so again this this data is entirely based on an assumption just for an academic purpose to clarify my point so before this just a little recap so that was the ending statement e-business growth in Malaysia is not as much as e-business growth in many other developed countries okay before this these were the contents to discuss description about e-business analyze growth of some other developed countries analysis of e-business growth rate with almost same population and etc so this is the example I have used so in those examples again I have highlighted all those reference as black because this example is purely based on an assuming information so what I will start with is the description about e-business so saying that the worldwide e-business emerged in 1970s according to ABC early stage e-business was arranged through a system of electronic data interchange this and that and uh, then a little history okay ending with internet access okay hence the demand for e-business increase in the mid 1990s so what happened in 1994 was the beginning of internet based shopping and uh, then now it comes to the history that is related to the fact that e-business has increased rapidly since the early 21st century so now if you say that uh, in United States it was around 166 billion in 2010 and uh, now there is an analysis of Canada and then some of the European countries in fact the entire Europe and then 
China and then Australia and Japan and then finally what I was saying the ending statement of the good background of the research and this is a base for a starting statement of the problem statement of a research so now just remember what was the ending statement so now using it there in contrast e business growth in malaysia is not as much as e business growth in many other developed countries secondly is it better to say ending paragraph statement rather than ending statement of the research background well it depends for example going back there this quant can be justified in terms of a formal analysis by proving how e-business growth in Malaysia is not as much as e-business growth in many other developed countries what I'm saying that this is more better to be part of a problem statement rather than an end of a research background but this depends on the nature of research for example I've used one more data okay what I'm doing is to add there and now to read this statement Okay, this will make it more powerful in terms of justification of the point. So now, okay, uh, in Malaysia, it was, okay, this much billion dollars at the end of uh, 2011 and is expected to increase this much by the end of 2015 okay one indicator of such growth such low growth is a report which states that blah 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 and uh, this number is high compared to United States blah 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 and hence Malaysian online consumers are concerned about the security of online purchase so one of the way is to describe this one also but another way could be to make this statement a starting statement of a problem statement so we can use that word as discuss earlier that he was so it was whatever I'm doing here okay cut this one okay now this was my earlier used example of a problem statement and now what I am doing paste this one here so now read this statement so what was the last statement hence Malaysian online consumers are concerned about the security of online purchasing
and now read the statement the concerns of Malaysian consumers may explain why Malaysia is far behind e-business growth compared to other countries so in this way you can elaborate things more well thank you so much